airframe, cabin atmosphere, oral questions. Is there any special requirement as to the type of oxygen used in an aircraft system? And if so, what is it? Only aviators breathing oxygen should be used. Describe the operating principle of a continuous flow oxygen system. High pressure oxygen flows from the storage cylinder to a pressure regulator where its pressure is reduced and then to the mask outlets wherever the system is turned on. Describe the operating principle of a pressure demand oxygen system. Demand systems allow oxygen to flow from the cylinder to the regulator and then to the mask only when the user inhales. Pressure demand systems provide oxygen to the mask at higher than atmospheric pressure when used at extremely high altitudes, forcing oxygen into the user's lungs. What should be used to purge an oxygen system of moisture? Dry air or dry nitrogen and oxygen. What action must be taken when an oxygen system has been open to the atmosphere? The system must be purged of any moisture. Describe the safety precautions that should be observed when servicing oxygen systems. Avoid all contact with petroleum-based oil or grease. Do not smoke. Keep everything very clean. And service system outdoors if possible. And keep the caps on the bottles to protect the valves. What is a roots blower? It is a type of engine driven compressor. Name two different types of independent cabin air compressors. Positive displacement and centrifugal. What is the source of pressurization air in most jet aircraft? Engine bleed air. What device provides the principal means of controlling cabin pressure? The outflow valve. What unit regulates the position of the outflow valve? The cabin pressure controller. Name several methods used on reciprocating engine aircraft for providing heated cabin air. Exhaust shroud heat exchangers combustion heaters, and electric heaters. What is the function of the ventilating air in a combustion heater? Ventilating air transports the heat from the heater into the cabin and prevents combustion gases from entering the cabin if the combustion chamber were to develop a crack. What are the sources of ventilating air in a combustion heater? Ram air in flight, a blower on the ground, or a compressor if the airplane is pressurized.
Name the basic components of an air cycle cooling system. The compressor and expansion turbine, heat exchangers, and various valves. Describe the basic operating principles that allow an air cycle system to produce cool air. Hot engine bleed air is cooled in the primary heat exchanger, compressed, and then cooled again in the secondary heat exchanger. This air is expanded across the turbine, where energy is extracted and the pressure is reduced. This produces a large temperature drop. Describe the basic operating principles of a water separator. Cool, moist air is swirled so that water droplets are separated by centrifugal force, captured by a sock, and then drained. Name the principal components of a vapor cycle system. A compressor, condenser, expansion valve, and evaporator. In what significant way is vapor cycle cooling systems different from air cycle cooling systems? Vapor cycle systems use a refrigerant liquid, usually Freon. Why is oil added to the refrigerant in a vapor cycle conditioning system? to lubricate the compressor.